Okay, everyone, we're here on Tolan still, but I thought today we would go ahead and do a little bit of uh, Merry Mayhem. And so I figure we'll just hop into the Merry Mayhem 1. Maybe we'll still be able to use our uh, low-level armor. If not, we'll swap out to the other, uh, the Mayhem armor. But it would be nice to get a Christmas box or two and a small handful of those uh, Mayhem tokens. Alright, let's see how it goes. Let's take a skill pill and stuff though. That way we can get the most out of our uh, slaughtering activities here, skill-wise anyway. Kind of waiting to see when they hit us to see how hard they're hitting for. But we should at least get one token from the boss and then at least one from the daily that's tracking on the bottom. You see we're kind of clipping along pretty good per kill there. And normally we'd be tracking the the Mary creature codex, but we can't actually pull it up from Tolan. It's the one downside to doing the uh, event from another planet is you can't access and claim the rewards from the codexing. But so far, they don't seem to be hitting too hard. They are animals, so we should get reasonable loot returned to us. Mostly shrapnel, because that's how it is with these events. And in general. Um, but we might see a little bit of uh, animal hide or something like that. Hopefully get ourselves a, a good grip of skill today and again grab some tokens hopefully that's the the big perk to doing mayhem right I'm always impressed with the amount of skills that kind of roll in uh, when we do this. It's not a whole lot of levels, um, just because once you get up in the 30s and whatnot, um, it really starts to slow down. Um, and I assume that it'll be even further slow down um, once we breach into the 40s. But if I remember right, it takes about 30 minutes or so to spawn the first boss.
Oh, there we are. A little bit of animal hide. Well, they they don't seem to have a too big of a loot list. I think animal hide, some shrapnel, um, and then the the tokens in the boxes, which is more than the Halloween. Cr which is more than we were getting from the Halloween creatures. Um, and I assume that's because they're robots. Not robots, uh, mutants. And our uh, animal looting is uh, slightly higher than our uh, mutant looting. But also looks like we're about a third or so through that uh, first daily. And we've got a couple of points up on the, the Annihilation quest. It'd be nice to get that pushed forward a little bit today as well. It looks like there's one kind of on our right trying to sneak up on us. The radar's giving them away though. And so for these being Dacobas, I haven't got any Dacoba hide or Dacoba wool or whatnot off of them. And now we're about halfway. Oh, we did get a one point on the Annihilation too. And so this is kind of just one of those grind through. It's kind of nice we're able to use our uh, low level armor here though. That way we're not having to burn out our Mayhem armor. Which we're going to have to replace one of those pieces soon anyway. And yeah, we're not going to get the rare mayhem token in uh, the first instance, likely, but I mean, you're not likely to get it anyway, but. We're extra unlikely to get it. But we don't have to stop and heal very often. They only hit for like 15 to 20, I think, with the pixie armor. And so at least with the daily, we're guaranteed to at least get a mayhem token outside of the boss. And so it kind of guarantees us at least two tokens today. Which isn't a lot when you look at the thousands you're going to need for anything.
but it is something, and so that's kind of nice. Plus, we'll get some rewards from that Annihilation as we work through one or two tiers of it. I mean, I don't suspect we'll get too far. We don't do a lot of the Mayhem. I do like to casually do a little bit of it, though. Just because it's a little bit of fun. We get a lot of skills. And once we start getting enough of the tokens, we might make a major push for it. Um, on a season that lines up well for us. All right, let's do a little bit of healing. That ought to be plenty. Let's get back to the killing. I kind of want to do the upgrade quest on that uh, first aid pack we were just using. Um, it's the one from Cyrene. But it was something like kill 1,000 Skreel. And I'm not sure that we actually have the capacity to kill a single one, let alone 1,000 of them. They hit pretty hard. They have really high hit points, like 1,200. Um, they do a fair amount of electric damage. Um, it's not 100% electric damage, but... And so I think we were going to have to get our Mayhem armor and some electric plates in order to have a chance. But our DPS is pretty low. And so we kind of put that off for a little while. We'll finish up the rest of it. Oh, there's a Mayhem token. Nice. There's our first one of the day. Let's scoot that over a little bit so I can see our life bar. That way I can hopefully spot when we need to heal. Probably about halfway to the boss or so. About to wrap up that first daily, though. That'll be nice. That'll get us another Mayhem token. I think the first one just gives you one. I think it's one, then five, then ten. Yeah, one. Probably like two, three kills. I think we'll get that other one.
and I really don't expect to see a box in a Halloween or a uh, Christmas box until we get to the boss. We wanted to see those more often. I think we got to get up into the three or the four, and the three will would definitely be pushing uh, our DPS zone. I think when the boss spawned. But a three we might be able to handle. A four would definitely be over the top. And anything outside the one is definitely mayhem armor zone. There we go. There's our next mayhem token. And then it automatically gave us the next tier up on that daily. So now we're on the merely mayhem daily stage two. And you see it's going a lot slower. But it is still moving every kill, so that's nice. And we're under 100 points on that uh, first uh, Annihilation quest. So hopefully we can uh, wrap that up as well. By the time that boss appears, maybe? But we'll see, because it definitely comes in spurts, we'll say. Where you'll get nothing for a while, and then you'll get like 20 points out of nowhere. So that one will definitely play by ear a little bit. Looks like it's almost time to heal again. It's definitely healing time now. Looks like there's ones over here trying to mob on us. So let's go ahead and take those out next.
Yeah, we're definitely getting kind of close to the boss. Which will be good. Then we'll finally get a box. And I'm assuming we'll get an annihilation point at least, like at least one upon killing the boss. But I haven't actually watched the couple of times we uh, have done the Merry Mayhem boss. That one was bad. Six pet ammo. Oh, there's a token. Puts us up to three today. So they're dropping a little better um, for us today than the we they did on that first time we did the Mayhem one. And we're back to healing again. So yeah, it's nice that you can do these with just your graduation pixie armor. Um, and I don't know, I got two A plates in most of these pieces. I don't know if that's helping me. Uh, well, we can see. If they're, de if they're degrading, it's helping me. If not, uh, not so much. But I don't know where we started, so it'll be hard for me to judge. There we go. A little bit of ammo back. That's what I consider it whenever we get a nice spike of trap. And we'll be like, well, there's some extra ammo to cycle. We're not really making too much progress on that annihilation, though. It doesn't look like. But again, it'll come in like a spurt where we'll get a whole bunch of points out of, like I said, out of nowhere. There's another token. Yeah, they're definitely looting a little better today than they did uh, the last time we were here. Or we're just being a little luckier, maybe. Either way, I'll take it. Oh, and our first strong box. They were starting to encircle us a little bit there. So there's still one more on our right that's kind of close enough to aggro. Just looking at the the radar there. Well, he was already aggroed. Just saw the way he was walking weird.
All right, skill boost. What we get? Twenty nine percent. That's nice. Oh, we got a, another point up there. So it's a long pause, then like one point, big pause, couple points or five points, big pause, one point. Oh, we don't want to target that one then. Let's stay over here in our comfort zone. That way it'll be a little easier to see our progress on that stage two Merry Mayhem daily. Once we get past that, that SM progress, I thought it was going to be a little more tricky to see the kind of where we were at. Now we have like a whole bunch of letters to gauge it with. That was literally the only reason I, to do that. We should probably heal up here soon. I think that boss is going to spawn in the next little bit here. I think it's thirty around the 30 minute mark. Uh, in the 1 and 45 in the 2. But I'm not 100% sure that I'm remembering correctly. And part of that's dependent on what weapon you're using and how fast you're killing things. Seems like a good spot to pause and heal. And we might need the Mayhem Armor for the boss, I'm not sure. That was a nice amount of shrapnel. But you see how, even if we click on it, we don't actually see it on our Codex listing. And that's because we're at Tolan instead of Calypso. But we'll get to claim that Codex when we return to Calypso. Uh, probably here in a few weeks. Maybe the first of the year-ish. We'll see. Maybe a little after.
we got some stuff to work on on uh, Rocktopia and Next Island. And then we actually have enough stuff to finish out and get our last Imperium Officer plate on Cyrene. And do our first upgrade quest um, once we track down uh, a few handful of items. Uh, the appropriate plush and uh, I think we were missing one other thing. But we got the rare, the two rare parts of the the first upgrade to that adjusted uh, Imperium Officer plate, and so we'd like to kind of knock that out at some point as well. And the good news is when that boss does spawn, it'll give us a nice little announcement. Well, it's taking a little longer to spawn than I thought. I wonder if that's just from us stopping to heal. And so we haven't quite reached the kill threshold count yet. It's okay, we'll kill more. Especially since we're only a fifth of the way through that second daily. Oh, there he is. And I should have healed. You know what? Let's uh we'll just put on the good armor real fast. Kill him and then this boss. And this boss definitely has a lot more hit points than the uh, normal little Dekubas that you fight leading up to him. And now we'll get to see if he's worth some points or not. And the answer was no. It didn't give us any extra points on that annihilation. So no guarantee of points there. We did get a couple of strong boxes and five tokens in spawning that boss. So that's not horrible. This is where we're going to wrap up with our Merry Mayhem 1 today. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Stay epic.